New right here on the night team. Over the weekend, we learned a tiger at the Bronx Zoo in New York tested positive for the coronavirus. That is the first animal confirmed case here in the United States. So we checked in with our zoo here in Louisville. No animals, no zookeepers have contracted COVID-19, according to the zoo staff, but they are taking extra precautions. Zookeepers will wear masks and gloves when working with the big cats. It got us to thinking about your animals. The 19th Heather Fountaine is verifying some questions and concerns. The coronavirus is creating some confusion when it comes to you and your pets. So we've set out to verify some of your questions with help from senior vet at the Louisville Zoo, Dr. Zoli Jamesi. Let's get one thing straight, whether you call it COVID-19, coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. It means the same thing. It goes by a few different names. I think they use the COVID-19 more for a human infection as opposed to a, you know, a, an animal infection. But yeah, it's all it's all the same virus. After a tiger at the Bronx Zoo tested positive for coronavirus, many of you are asking, can people give this virus to animals? Dr. Jamesi says this recent case allows us to believe it's possible, but not common. The presumption is the cat acquired it from a, a human caretaker. This is predominantly a human to human transmission disease and very rarely an animal can become infected. Others want to know if animals can catch the virus, can they also give it back to people? According to the United States Department of Agriculture, there's no evidence at this time to suggest animals can spread COVID-19 to humans. But Dr. Jamesi says we should use caution anyway. We don't know whether um, an animal can give it back to a human or can spread it to another animal. Those are all still unfolding. What about if you have coronavirus? Should you avoid your pet or at least wash your hands before petting them and wear a mask around it? Dr. Jamesi says yes. Yeah, the recommendation from USDA and CDC is if you are positive for COVID-19 or self-isolating, not only should you quarantine yourself from other people, but also from your pets because there's a lot we don't know. As experts learn more about COVID-19, it's too early to say for sure how animals will impact the spread. But Dr. Jamesi says be smart, and be careful. Heather Fountaine, WHAS 11 News. Verifying the truth for you tonight. Have you seen a claim on social media or heard something you'd like us to verify? Send us an email. The address is verify at whas11.com or go ahead and message us on Facebook or Twitter.